Okay, so first things first, I'm going to start off with setting up my categories. So in terms of income, I have my salary from my day job. Actually, let me use this keyboard over here. I have my salary. <clears throat> I did start an Etsy shop. I did have one sale, but um, it's not like changing money yet. You know, we're being hopeful. In terms of savings, I have my shares. I have my car insurance. Um, car insurance, sinking fund. Then I have, we're doing $5 a week. What is this going to Sorry. I'm doing $5 a week. What is this? Not even, this is annoying me. Okay, five dollars a week. Then we have one dollar a day. The nickel challenge. Fifty-two week challenge. One hundred envelopes and transfer. Tuesday. In terms of debt, I only have two debts, which is my one of my student loan and my car loan. Expenses, rent, groceries, transportation. Mm, yeah, that's not the only transport. Transportation. Eating out, life insurance, can you sell, creative ads account, creative ads account, <coughs> Canva, Netflix. CPE What else do I have to think about? I think those are the main things. Okay. So jumping to the budget now. So salary, shares. So this is all auto populated in here. Um, yeah, so I already put it in here just so I don't forget. Okay, so 3208 is my take home pay. Let me see if we can minimize this a little bit. Okay. I think what I want to first start with is this savings category first. A hundred dollars goes to my shares, one thirty six goes to my current so those are deducted automatically every month. Five dollars a week in February, they're four weeks, so that's twenty, and in one dollar a day that'll be twenty eight days, right? This is not a leap year. I'm pretty sure it's not. Correct, twenty-eight. The nickel challenge. Oh, let me guess. This still the same. Saved. Five. January was five weeks, so that means that. That means that I would have. Then take nine. So sixty-nine thirty is going to go to. The nickel challenge in February. Five 
five dollars a week challenge. Sorry, fifty-two week challenge. I did not do um January for this, so let's just do up to week nine here as well. That's forty-five dollars. Okay. One hundred envelopes. So let's pull some envelopes. This is the same as the previous one I showed you guys. Um, I just redid it in this format, but it's exactly the same thing. So fifty. Oh, how many envelopes should I choose? Should I do the same number of weeks? So should I do six, six of them? Let's just do six for now. But if I do, yeah, I want to get halfway through by the end of the year. So because this is February, I'm starting late. I'm going to just do, I'm going to have to cap it at something. Let me see. You know what, let's just go. Let's just, just do what we do. Okay, I think I'm going to do the minimum I can do per paycheck. If I do, I don't have my calculator. Oh, actually I have a calculator here. If to complete this in a week, 100 divided by 52 weeks, I would have to do two a week. So for January, I would have to do five. And for February, I would have had to do Therefore, well, this did a blank. Okay, <laughs> five. There are five weeks, so ten, and then eight. Right. Okay. So let's go up to ten and let's see what happens. So I've already opened one. <clears throat> let's see how far this takes me. Twenty. 45, 52, 46, 62, 83, 60, 21, So that's 10. So I'm going to be working one month behind for this. So 10, 10 envelopes opened and I've saved 440. So I'll put 440 here. And obviously transfer Tuesday, it depends on each month what I do. So I forgot I was doing these as negatives. Oopsie. So I made that change. Okay. So I have, <coughs> excuse me. $2,369.70 to budget my student loan, my car loan, same every month. I'm not really, I'm not really prioritizing, yeah, prioritizing that repayment right now. So then I have $1,355 left to go. Rent is $500. Groceries is 500 life insurance. I did not pay that last month, so I need to pay that 62.81 times 2. And then I also looked at my statement that I got from them um, this month, and it actually says that I, I guess I underpaid them somehow. I'm not too sure why that is. So I'm going to just pay the difference and it's only 49 cents. So 
I'm not too sure where that was, but <clears throat> my did you sell? Okay, let me actually open my phone app and see how much I actually owe them. I know this bill is gonna be crazy. As you can see, I only have two twenty nine fifty nine. So let's see what's happening. Two twenty nine. Where is the app? Okay, let's see. Okay, no, this is probably, it says $85, but I'm like, I'm actually shocked that it's actually the bill amount. So is it that the one for, this is a month behind. So in December, you bill, whatever, let's put 85 here. <laughs> I'm shocked, this is that what that says, okay. January bill, 85. Okay, fine. If that's what it says. That's what it says. Minus 39 point. Is that what I have? 39.5. Canva is 27. And Netflix is 21.91. And this is 116.44. Now, as you can see, I need to take out $60 somewhere, somehow. So, over budget for this paycheck. Of course, I have money that's rolling over, but ideally, can I just maybe reduce my groceries by 100 Would that help? But I'd be hungry to be honest with you. I really hungry sometimes. <laughs> okay, so let's just keep going. Thirty nine seventy four. I think I'm just gonna give this here like something called miscellaneous. I don't know if I have it in here. So let's just let me just add that as a category. Miscellaneous. And I'll add it in here. And I'll add that thirty nine seventy four. So that is my plan for February's paycheck. Um, yeah, I don't know. So I said okay, sixteen thirty, fifty two weeks. I'm catching up on that. One hundred on the road for forty. Okay. Okay. I, I think I feel good about that, I guess. I'm not sure. In an ideal situation, this 3940, 3974 would go into Transfer Tuesday, but it just depends on what happens. Um, so yeah, when I start to spend the money, we'll compare this here and see um, what happens. But that's it for now, guys. Bye.